Okay, so look. Okay, I need you to look. We're going to plant some new things today. Welcome, 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 welcome to the church boom. Um, what is this, garden? Back to life, back to reality. Yes, so before you start, I have on shorts because I have a lot of work to do out in this garden today. So let me show you what we're gonna plant today. So good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on and share. Hi there, Quinn. My Quinn. Um, they say this is, oh Lord, let me see. Um, giant red mustard greens, giant red mustard greens. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead with the almighty spoon and I'm gonna dig across, even though the rows go straight down, I'm going to come across because I saw this man plant that kind of way. And so what I'm gonna do is, of course I prayed all the way from the nursery to here to make sure that I'm going to have <laughs> a good crop. Cause I'm like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. A lot of what I'm doing, all I know is that I'm doing it. And as long as I'm trying, I am doing some research. But then there's certain things I just don't know. But I'm praying. I, I, I came out here last night. Hi there, Holly Forbin. After Holly Sue, as a matter of fact, after service. So we had three services yesterday. So as soon as I was praying, Lord, hurry up. Hurry up and let them hurry up, because I got to go out there and water those, my, water my garden. So, seriously, I didn't know how late it was, but I said, as long as it's still light out a little bit, I'm going to be able to go out there. So, you know what I did? I hurried and got two. I'm going to do two in each one of these. I hurried and got to the, uh, well, maybe we'll do three. All right, do three. Um, got out here. I left here, it was after nine o'clock. I didn't know that it was after nine o'clock. It was 10 minutes to 10 when I left from out here. So it, it had started getting dark, but the engineer happened to be here. So he, and he said, well, what are you doing? I said, I gotta get some water on here. I, I have to get the, some water on my plants because the whole time I was in um, Florida in the women's convention, I had, some people that were so kind to Ricky came out Ricky came out and watered her and Kyrie um, one day for me so that was a blessing for me so but the others oh lord so I was just praying lord let it rain let it rain well you know it did not rain here in Michigan and so that's why I have to do a lot of extra but I'm putting down some more rows this week and uh Hopefully, they will come up to be what we needed to be. Now, let me show you something. You know, you always have to cover the roots. Cover the roots, roots, however you um, pronounce it. That's what you have to do. And so, I had to make sure. I had to come out and put some more, some more what? Some more compost on the roots. Because if the roots are not covered, it's not going to be able to... Grab a hold to the dirt, red giant, here we are, red giant mustard. So those of you that are going to come out sometime before the harvest to help or to plant, you're more than welcome. Yes, come on. You've got to be able to start something and finish something. I was thinking, you know, you set goals and when you set goals, you try to reach the goal, but the goal is never reached just because you say I'm going to reach the goal, the goal is reached because you have to work and to make it coming to full fruition. So I'm excited about this. I've never grown mustards before, but we are growing, what's the name of this thing again? Put it on here, Red Giant, Red Giant Mustard. So I got to the, I asked one lady, she said that's what they were. I didn't kind of believe her because I, I couldn't understand what she was saying. So I got to the counter and I asked the girl and she says, yes, they're mustards. Yes, they're mustards. And so 
um, we're going to do the best that we can. And that's another thing. When the people tell you, they know what they're talking about. You know, I didn't know what I was talking about, but then I had the nerve to have a little doubt. But in the process of being doubtful, you've got to get to the place that, get a second opinion, get a third opinion. You know, if it makes you feel better. So the lady told me the right answer the first time. And of course I was like, she don't know what she's talking about. I don't know. She knows, I don't know if she knows what I'm saying and I don't know what she said. Does that make sense? Yeah. A breakdown in, in communication. <laughs> A breakdown and life will give you some breakdowns in communication, but you've got to persevere, set a goal, work the plan, get the information and keep going and keep going. That's what, but you cannot expect this stuff. Now we stand in the offering line and we ask God to do something and then we don't think he can do it. Well, he gave you the answer. He gave us the answer. He gave us the seed. Now you won't replant it. Oh, I turned the corner quickly, darling. Yes, I did. Hey there, Tammy Leek. Hey, Picoya. Picoya, I have on shorts. I'm out here. I'm truly doing this today. So what I'm saying is you have to look, listen, learn, and persevere. So God gives you the seed. After he gives you the seed, you've got to be responsible to nurture the seed so that it can grow. Can you still see me? I hope you can. Um, and that's with life. When we're saying in the offering lines to seed in ministry and seed into our lives, you want to get back what you're praying for, but you're not praying sometimes long enough or you're praying in doubt or you don't work what you've been praying for. That's a whole lot at one time that I'm saying, but it's it's the truth, okay? So, I went and bought more seeds, more seedlings, and I'm praying that they come up. They will come up. They will come up. So, I am asking all of you that know the words of prayer <laughs> to pray with me that this seed, that this harvest comes up. I'm praying over this like they are souls on the altar because literally i want them to get into the homes and families that need this um for their health as well as just because they enjoy they enjoy eating how about that eating 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 i plant these and some of them didn't believe it was gonna work and then when i showed up with all of the stuff all of the harvest, they were all shocked. When they came out and they saw that it's for real, they were all shocked. They were all shocked. They were all shocked. So, let me see what else I have. Oh, Lord. I have to find out. Oh, good God, what is this? Um, this is, now look at this. This, I got this, honestly. Honestly, I got this, guys, because it's beautiful. <laughs> it's red cabbage or something like that. Kabash. How about that? So we have some kabash. I'm going to put them on a separate row by themselves because I've never planted them. I just got them because they were beautiful. I thought that color and then it's just pretty. How about that? Just beautiful. I'm gonna come down here and maybe start this row right here. Beside, beside that, um, what is that I just put down there? That giant mustard seed, yeah. So they'll be close in color, but I don't think I can plant these one. I have to put these one by one by one since it's a cabbage and we want them to have enough room to grow. So I'm doing those maybe about, um, three inches apart three inches apart and then we will be able to see once they come up i wish i could ship them to you but i don't know i don't know about that you're gonna have to come all the way to michigan to come and get your cabbage the red cabbage oh red giant cabbage it says red giant i think yeah oh so I'm gonna do a few of those. Can we still see each other? 
let's see. I want to say I hope that everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm not going to take up too much of your time because I just wanted you all to see what we're doing this week. And I'm going to show you how it's growing over on the other side. Those of you that just tuned in, you have tuned in to the Church Spoon Garden for the day. And um, I'm Kelly. And hopefully this is going to turn out um, the way that I, I hope it will. My expectation is that it's going to have a great growing process. I'm not going to have to do too much to it. But it's going to um, end up being a wonderful vegetable. And um, those of you that are carrying little babies and stuff like that right now, you might need to consider putting a garden on your balconies, your porches, or in your lawns, on your in your grass, in your own uh, backyards. Because it's really easy to do. You just get a little dirty. Of course, I'm, I'm going to be dirty. But we have running water everywhere, so you can get clean. As soon as you get dirty, you just go ahead and do what you need to do. But go ahead and start planting because you need fresh things with no formaldehydes and no other kind of um, things that will cause any harm to your body and to your little babies inside. Hey there, Everett. Everett, look at me. I'm out here. I'm having a good time. This is the compost that I'm going to use to go back and fill it in. So, Everett, I'm planting today some mustards and some red giant cabbages. So, here, everybody hit the share button because I want everybody to kind of get um, involved with doing some things that you normally would not do. I, know, I would not do this. I don't like outside. Okay, so let me show you something. But the Lord told me to do this in 2021. Everybody laughed. Everybody laugh. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. But let me show you. I'm doing it and I have great favor with what I'm doing because I'm obedient. And sometimes you just need to get you a new hobby. This is so tranquil out here and relaxing. You hear the birds. You hear the cars. Some of the cars passing. I have my friend up there. They're um, doing some kind of uh, cantaloupes or something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Some kind of melon. That's what they told me. And it's going to be great. But start back to this. Those of you that are, um, you know, carrying babies and stuff like that, go and do something that you haven't done before. Start growing your little garden. Talk to the little baby. Pray. And then start storing up. You can store all of this stuff. You can store it, freeze it, can it, juice it, all of that. You want to do some things that are going to be better for you. I don't know what this is. I don't even see the little label. What is this saying? Uh, some kind of winter boar kale. Winter boar kale. So I'm going to try this. I just picked it up. And oh God, it's a little book. Oh God, a grasshopper. Oh my Jesus. Oh Lord. So this is winter board kale. We're gonna put this down. And um, whenever I start seeing creatures, I know that my time out here is not going to be as long as I thought it was gonna be. But I'm gonna get this. So I got my church spoon. Da 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 da. And we are planting. We are planting. We are planting. Let me tell you all what happened last week to me. I gotta come over here and tell you. Let me see, I'm gonna spread that out. I don't know what that is too much. But, so, I got, had a little health awakening last week when I was in Florida and um, my pulse was low, but my heart rate was really up. I didn't know what that was about. So they told me, you need to go and get some rest and all of that. What have you been doing differently and all of that? I didn't know what they were talking about. Guess what? I've given up Mountain Dew. Ha! Oh, so you all can imagine what's going on with me. I've given up Mountain Dew, and you know I am a Mountain Dew freak, but let me tell you something. Once the medical advice came to me, it was no thinking, honey. I cut that off last Monday. So 
I want you to keep me in your prayers. <laughs> keep me in your prayers. And uh, just know that what we're doing, we have to take care of our health. So, okay, so let me show you what's happening. This is the stuff that we planted the other week. Look at there. Are we looking? Are we looking? Are we looking? Those are the rows. Look at there. Look at there. Look at them. This is us, guys. Look. They're coming up. 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 These are the Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. I don't know what's going on with them. Now, these are the red hook limas. They're on life support. They're on life support. They're on life support. I'm using this miracle grow um, little hose thing. Well, what is this? The little spigot or something like that. Hey, Latard, how are you? And then I have this new kind of a uh, new kind of hose that it just it's made out of some kind of something. It's like a vinyl, some kind of vinyl something. And so when you you know you get it going, it gets going. So there goes. These are all collards. These are all Georgia collards, all Georgia collards, all Georgia collards, all Georgia collards. So you see, we are working with a system. We're working with the system. We're working with the system. So we're growing all the time. So this is what's going down today. This is what we are putting down today. Those are the mustards and the cabbages. <laughs> the cabbages, and then that's some kale. And then I don't know what this stuff is I got over here. Let's see. And then this is zucchini squash. So somebody told me yesterday at church, why don't you try? Uh, I think they said, oh, Lord, I got the wrong thing. They told me, why don't you try cucumbers? I got carried away and got zucchini. So, oh, oh, I hope it grows. So this is what I'm saying. Get started with something. It may not mean anything to anybody else, but it's going to mean something to you. Lisa, <laughs> show more of that. Do you like that, Lisa? Look. Look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 look. I see Pastor Gatlin on here. Elwood. So, look, I'm doing that, and we're going to get this in the ground because we have to have a healthy life. And then we, they want us to convert our communities from preservatives and additives to all natural. Isn't that right? But we can't do that if we're not doing that. So you can't wait on anybody else to do something for you. Hi there, Lord. We can't wait any, on anybody to do that. We have to do it ourselves. So because I'm out here in my shorts and I don't want to be rebuked. Da -da 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 yep. I'm going to come off. But you do know that I can't be out here in a habit. <laughs> Right, right, okay. And we're going to have these greens, and we want to make sure that everybody's going to have a wonderful, that's huge, lots of land. Oh, yeah, look at it. It's, uh, this is 25 by 35, I think, least. I think that's what it is. And, um, of course, but look up here. I'm going to show you them. Look at there. Look at there. Look, 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 look. Now those big, those bamboo poles over there, that's my neighbor. She's planting peppers and bean poles. Um, they are, uh, um, the Asian community, they are really anointed as well as the African American community to know how to plant and to grow things. And um, I think we need to get it out of our minds that we used to be slaves uh -huh. and we used to work the field and we used to do this and we used to. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, bees and butterflies, we were great at it. Yeah, we have made the country, America, what it is because we know how to work the land. So don't get stuck with what we used to be and look at it in a negative inference. And from that perspective, get yourself up and let's go at it again to make sure that we can do some positive things for you, for your family, for your community. And we can live a lot longer. Let me get this. Okay. Is that right? Yes, is that a community garden? No, it's not a community garden. Actually, this guy has his own land and he separates it. Everybody rents your own your own farm from him. So it's not considered to be community. It's your own lot. Dude, how much do I know? 
Yeah. And so, uh, I really didn't know. And I told people, you know, you hear from God and I hear from him clearly. I joke a lot, but I hear from him and I listen to what he says and I do what he says because I'm not going to be held accountable for not being obedient. A lot of times we pray for God to do some things in our lives. And then when he does it, you won't follow through. So that's not God. That's you. Dun, 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 dun. So look, he told me that I had to do a garden. I said, Lord, I don't want to do no garden. I don't like outside. He said, do a garden. I said, okay, I'm going to do a garden. And so I came out of, of course, the 7-Eleven down the street from my house is one on the front end and the back end, kind of like cornered in. So I got up and up. I started coming. He said, take a right. I went in there, got a Mountain Dew, of course, came out of there. He said, take a right. I took a right, took a right. And I promise you, he said, take a right and look to the left. I got to this lot and it had on the bottom of the mailbox, it said, it said, farm for rent. I was like, okay, Jesus, you got to be joking. I've passed this thing a thousand times, never have seen this. And so I came in, I asked the man about, you know, what was going on. And he says, oh yeah, you can rent a, you can rent a farm and this, that, and the other. And I asked him, I said, is it a community farm? He says, no, you're your own farmer. You have your own land and you do whatever you need to do with it. And guess what? He didn't think I was, I was just asking a lot of questions. So as I was asking questions, he was kind of looking like, you know, he didn't believe I was going to do it. But guess what? I went in that car. He told me what I had to pay. I went in the car. I said, hold on a minute, because I have to be committed. And in order to be committed, I have to be responsible. I paid the money that day and went to the nursery. And from that, that was in 2021. Well, you know, here in Michigan, you cannot plant until um, a certain time. So we could not plant until the third week of because of that you have to go according to the ground so i tried to get ahead of the game and started growing things on my deck i lost over a hundred and some um seedlings the plants for um the collards and then i did some onions and some stuff some peppers i lost them because it was too cold however that didn't stop me don't let, ever let anything stop you so the cold couldn't stop me. The deck couldn't stop me. My husband told me my deck looked a mess because what are you doing, Kelly? You're jacking up the desk. You're jacking up the deck. Okay, you won't be saying that when I'm able to have a successful garden. Well, everything flopped from that. I still have about four that I water daily out there and some onions that I'm going to bring out here. But maybe I'll keep them there. So listen, to that. thank you. Boundaries on when you plant. The boundaries on when you plant for me have been, you do have boundaries. So you start planning in May, but I started in April. I got stuff right before we went to the, you know, everything is around church stuff for us. So right before I went to the April call meeting, I got all of this stuff to plant, put it on the deck. I tried the containers. I tried the containers and in the bags, that kind of thing. It was working until it didn't work. It was working. It was working. So I told some of you, go get those great big old bag things, those plaid bags you can find found at the dollar store or get some kind of some kind of bag. Put the dirt, get you two big old things of I think it's 10 pounds. This hair is looking a mess. It's hot. Um 10 pounds of dirt, put a couple of bags in there and then you go and slit the side of the bag. Slit the sides of the bag. Slit the sides of the bag enough so that you can put one of these things in here you slit the side of the bag so you can put them in the side of the bag you can actually put 40 to 50 plants in one of those big bags and so what you end up doing is and opposed to coming out here every day you just water in the inside of the bag put your um fertilizer on the inside of the bag and then guess what happens hey there farmer jay hey there lady b what's happening we'll be at your church this month thank you so much again for the invite we'll be there ministering and we know that jesus is going to bring his own fire there so i'm excited about that so look you put that all around the bag put the things slit slide them in slide them in so that's for small spaces and whatever so what happens let me see and she's done randy <laughs> yes thank you thank you so what we want you to do is 
try off, try out and do something simple. Go and get you some flats. These are called flats. Those are flats. And that's the zucchini. I thought I was getting cucumbers, but I think I got carried away and got the wrong thing. Uh-huh. That's what I did. I got carried away and got, oh, I didn't show it right. Okay. There it is. Got carried away and picked up the wrong thing. But start out with something easy, guys. Do that. Do that. Do that. Family, we're family. Let, let's help each other with what we're doing. I'm doing it so you can see that we can all do it. Mm -hmm, good information. I never heard about the bags. Yes. Going to, thanks, Lise. Okay, so go there. Get the bags. Get you some dirt. Go by. Figure out what you want because everything that's out here, we can juice it. Everything, everything, everything. So I did a little something this year that I saw that should be interesting. Um, and that is I'm planning in a different kind of way. The system has changed. Okay, so I'm going to show you my thinking. You get more for your money, more for the buck or whatever. And then I don't have to bend over to pick up the stuff as much. But then the leaves shade themselves, their own plants, so the bugs won't get to them. <laughs> and the sun won't burn them out. But I got to beat the sun. We haven't had any rain. She said, we're praying for rain. I said, Lord, send the rain. Okay, so this is what I've done. So you see the rose. They're straight rows, straight rows. So I started with this row and I only planted one on this row right so but i came over here and i did three one two three in each one so i'm opposed to just doing one i'm maximizing the space so that when they actually start growing they will shade each other does that make sense they will shade each other to make sure that um the roots are covered you got to keep your roots covered the roots covered so you have to come in and compost Put compost dirt back on them. Put a little fertilizer and keep going. So yesterday, that's what I did. That's fertilizer and some more compost. But you see how that one is coming out. So you have to keep the roots covered. So I got to put some more over there. Throw it up there. Because as you water, the ground, you know, just dissipates. It goes wherever it wants to go. But that's just like life. You can work on something, oh my God, and you think that it's doing what you thought it should do, but then you go back and you see you have to do something, add something to it, change something up. You know what I'm saying? So you have to do it. Don't stop. That's all I'm going to say today. Our lesson is get going again and let's, let's don't stop. Didn't have any rain the whole time I was in Florida. So I'm just praying. So that's why you see some of the um, yellow leaves on here but it's not gonna stop me it just says go and buy some more <laughs> go and get some more go and get some more go and get some more start all over again until you win never stop never stop so what the rain didn't come in we have the water system everybody has their own water system out here so get going get up those of you that don't have um anything on your schedule as far as vacations or even if you have vacations make this life profitable for you make your life profitable for you in this time in the season get up go get you a flat cost you maybe about 12 15 dollars and then you are in your own businesses farming. I love you so much. If you haven't heard it all day, it's early in the day. So this should help you get through the rest of your day. If you haven't heard it all day, bump, da, 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 da. I got to let you know that Jesus loves you. And so do I. Let's get up and let's make a difference. Until the next time, get going. Do not stop. Whatever you started, do not stop. Go back and revisit it. Some things you gave up years ago, go back and pick it up. You gave it up too soon. And now this is a great time and a great season for you to do it don't wait until months ahead and say i should have would have could have no if they die out like this stuff down here that i think is dying look at that i think it may be on its last leg but take a look all of these right here have problems but look at that one that one has decided to grow it's something in you that's going to grow and something for you that's going to grow let's get moving see you soon